Hi everybody, this is a video to go over the chapter one, section one notes on solving equations for Algebra 2 at Demonte Ranch High School um, for the 2020-2021 school year. Uh, my name is Mr. Gannon and in this video I'm going to go over and review some um, different ways to solve equations um, that you guys are going to be seeing throughout the year. So if you take a look at the first example, um, when we solve equations, the basic idea is to find all solutions for the variables that are going to make that equation true. Um, and there's, there's going to be some different parts to them. Um, but the first thing we want to do is look at an equation and simplify each side of the equation individually. Um, and that might involve distributing or combining like terms. If we look at example one, um, we're going to start by combining some like terms. So like terms have the same variable, same exponent. Um, so we're going to be able to combine the 9x and the negative 2x. And we're also going to be able to combine the positive 8 and the positive 7 on the left side of this equation. So what it's going to look like from there is we have 9x minus 2x, which is 7x. We have positive 8 plus 7, which is positive 15. We're going to just bring down the equal sign. And the negative 14 is the only thing there, so it's going to come straight down. Now, once you have simplified both sides of the equation, the goal is to get the variable by itself. Um, so in this case, we need to get the x by itself. And in order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is subtract 15 from both sides of the equation. Um, whatever you do on one side, you have to do to the other. And we're going to use inverse operations to cancel things out. So subtraction is the inverse of addition. Those cancel. And our left-hand side is now going to leave us with 7x. Equal sign comes down. And negative 14 minus 15 is negative 29. Um, we're closer to having the x alone, but we're not quite there. So in order for us to finish, we have to get rid of 7. Um, and since that 7 is being multiplied by the x, we're going to do the inverse of multiplying, which is division. And we're going to divide both sides by 7. We have now successfully isolated x, bring down the equal sign. And with fractions, if we can reduce, we have to reduce. In this case, we can't reduce. So we're going to go ahead and leave our answer as negative 29 over 7. And at that point, we are done. All right, let's take a look at number two. All right, so number two is, you know, similar, but a little different. There, are, there is an additional step. So the same idea applies as when you look at the equation, you want to try to simplify both sides first. And in this case, in order to simplify, we're going to start by distributing this negative three. The negative 3 gets distributed to everything inside the parentheses, which is going to leave us with negative 6a plus 3. And then that minus 4a is going to come straight down, equals 15. Um, we're not quite done because we need to combine like terms. Let me use a highlighter. So we have negative 6a and negative 4a that we can combine, which is going to give us negative 10a plus 3. 3 equals 15. At that point, we have simplified both sides of the equation, and now we want to isolate the variable. So our first step in isolating is going to be to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. Those 3's cancel. We have negative 10a equals 15 minus 3, which is 12. Okay, We still need to isolate a. So we're going to end up dividing both sides by negative 10. Those cancel. At that point, we have isolated the A. Um, but as we look at the right-hand side, we have a fraction of 12 divided by negative 10, or 12 over negative 10. We want to reduce. Um, a positive divided by a negative is always a negative. And then 12 and 10 are divisible by 2. So we're going to reduce by dividing each term by 2 and get a final answer of negative 6 fifths. All right, guys, let's go through and take a look at some more examples. Um, and again, we won't do all of these. You know, number 3 
um, is kind of an extension of number two. So let's take a look at that. So if we take a look at number three, um, same things apply. We want to start by simplifying both sides of the equation. The left-hand side, we cannot simplify, so I'm simply going to rewrite 4y plus 11 equals. On the right-hand side, I'm going to distribute the negative 2. So we have 13y minus 10 minus 6y. Um, now again, we, we need to make sure both sides are simplified. We're not quite done with the right-hand side. So I'm going to bring down and rewrite the 4y plus 11, bring down the equal sign, and then we're going to combine our 13y and our negative 6y. Um, so 13y minus 6y is going to give us 7y minus 10. Now, what's different here is now we have variables on both sides of the equation. Both sides are simplified, but we have variables on both sides. So we want to move the variables to one side. It doesn't really matter where, which side you move to. I like to try to keep the variable positive. So I'm going to move the 4y over to the 7y. And I'm going to do that by subtracting because the opposite of a positive is a negative, um, kind of how I think of it. So at that point, we're going to cancel the 4y's over here. We have 11 equals 7y minus 4y is 3y minus 10. And again, we're at that point where we need to isolate y. So in order to do that, we're going to start by adding 10 to both sides. 11 plus 10 is 21. Equal sign comes down, bring down the 3y, and those 10s cancel. So now we need to isolate the y by getting rid of the 3. And we're going to do that through division. So we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 3. And we end up with 21 over 3 is 7 equals the 3's cancel y. So we can leave our answer as 7 equals 3y, or if you prefer, you can just rearrange it and write it as y equals 7. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to finish this video up here, and then we're going to continue with a second video um, and go through a few more of these examples. So I hope this helps you review. Um, please make sure you watch the other videos, and if you have questions, ask your teachers. Thank you.